What's up, Cereal Huts? Today we're going to talk about Pink Panther Flakes. This cereal was released by Post back in 1972. Post Cereals was one of the sponsors for the Pink Panther Show, a cartoon that aired on Saturday mornings. What was the Pink Panther Show? Well, I guess we have to go back a little bit and recap some history about this character in the franchise before we talk about the cereal. So the Pink Panther is a British film franchise that features an inept French police detective, Inspector Clouseau. The first movie in this franchise was called The Pink Panther and it starred Peter Sellers. I think there are about six films with Peter Sellers. There are a few more after his death, but he will always be known as Inspector Clouseau. Now these films are relevant because it was the intro of that first Pink Panther film in 1963 where we first saw the animated cartoon of Pink Panther and that memorable theme song by Henry Mancini. Here's a brief clip from the opening credits of that first Pink Panther movie. The audiences loved that animated opening so much that the film executives decided they'd milk it for all it's worth and they commissioned a series of theatrical cartoons featuring the Pink Panther character. One of those shorts won an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature in 1964. And by 1969, they decided to milk this franchise even more and they created the Pink Panther Show, a Saturday morning cartoon featuring adventures of that Pink Panther character. One of the things I find weird about those original Pink Panther cartoons is that when they aired in the late 60s and early 70s on television, they had a laugh track. Now I'm used to laugh tracks on regular classic sitcoms, but there's something just weird about having a laugh track during a cartoon. <laughs> Anyway, around 1972, Post Serials was sponsoring the Pink Panther Show, or the new Pink Panther Show as it might have been called by then, and Post decided to take that sponsorship a step further and introduce the new Pink Panther cereal, Pink Panther Flakes. Now this box I have here is from 1972, and unfortunately it's empty, so we won't be able to see what the cereal looked like, but you can use your imagination. It was essentially just pink colored frosted flakes. According to some people who are older than me and remember this cereal, Apparently it tasted much sweeter than original Frosted Flakes. I've also heard the pink dye on the flakes would come off rather quickly when you hit them with milk. There are a few commercials for this cereal when it came out. Here's one that I'm gonna show you, but it's kind of longer than an average cereal commercial, so feel free to skip over it if you get bored. Pink Panther Flakes are pink and sweet as you. Pink Panther color are pink. Take with me pink. Pink Panther Flakes are pink and sweet as you. Pink Panther color are pink. Now I wish I had some of this cereal to show you or to see for myself. I'd really like to see what those pink colored frosted flakes look like, but we can still examine the box a little bit. This one came with a free five in one spy kit inside the box. And if you look closely, it says this is the actual size of that spy kit that came inside this box which is kind of crazy because this is already a small box of cereal. So to have a prize or premium inside that was that big, that means there's probably barely any cereal in here. Let's take a look at the back of the box here to see what this spy kit entails. So you can see it says it's made of sturdy plastic and it has a secret message slot, a telescope, a signal whistle, and a magnifying glass. And I guess the fifth thing is that it hangs on your pocket. Hmm. Seems really more like a four in one spy kit. And here's a pic I found of this classic spy kit prize. You can see the size and look of it in front of that busted up box there. I've also seen two other Pink Panther flake boxes with spy or detective prizes inside. One featured a pad of disappearing paper that dissolved in water, and the other had a plastic toy zip car. Those zip cars were offered in a handful of different boxes of cereal back in the 70s. But this Pink Panther Flake cereal only lasted about two years before it was discontinued. The Pink Panther cartoons would be rerun and re-aired throughout the 70s. I believe the last new original Pink Panther cartoon came out in 1980, the year I was born. They tried to reboot the film franchise in 2006 with Steve Martin, including a sequel that came out in 2009. I thought we might actually see a re-release of the cereal when that movie came out, but no such luck. Now last I heard, they're still working on a live action slash cartoon reboot that would pair the cartoon 
cartoon character with some live actors, kind of like Space Jam or something. Not sure that'll ever come to fruition, but if it does, I hope Post will re-license the Pink Panther character and re-release Pink Panther Flakes or some other kind of Pink Panther cereal to go along with it. Okay, well, that's gonna do it for Pink Panther Flakes. I wish I had more to share with you about this cereal, but it was before my time. If you remember this cereal or you have fond memories of it, please let me know down in the comments. This is one of those classic cereals like Sir Grapefellow or Freakies that I wish I was alive back in the day so I could have tried them. But who knows, maybe one day the cereal gods will bless us with reboots of all these classic forgotten discontinued cereals. All right, as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay crunchy. What did the Pink Panther say when he stepped on an ant? Dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant. Cereal time. Cereal time.